Yeah. What about now? Yes. Okay, sir. I can sit now. Thank you. Okay, now. So, welcome to my class, English class. Today, we are going to talk about application letter. So, uh, last year, you have learned about that one, but it's talking about business letter. Business letter, that's a lot, okay? Uh, so, application letter, it's part of business letter, yeah? Uh, maybe after senior high, you can go to apply a job, yeah, maybe yeah, you don't want to plan to get uh, or to continue your study in the university. It's okay, guys. Yeah, this is very important to you if you want to get a job after senior high. Okay? So, in here, we're talking about definition under, uh, after we will see about example. Because yeah, you know that according to the name, application letter, so it's for getting a job it's for applying for a job yeah so you write this letter to get a job okay but you need to remember if you want to write about application letter it means that you want to promote yourself yeah you it's gonna be like you talk about your personal thing your personal thing like your skill about your background anything yeah so in here it's like you sell you sell yourself is you sell yourself it's not like yeah not real you sell yourself not like that yeah <laughs> be careful yeah it's like you yeah, to promote yourself so that uh, the company so that the uh, uh, HRD yeah uh, can accept you to be the employee all right so the purpose we learn about this is like to secure an interview if you uh, if the HRD want to know more about you while you're doing interview they will take a look about your application letter and the purpose we learned about this one is that it's like for eventually to obtain a job uh, I think that you have learned about this in the Bahasa Indonesia subject right Right. Yes, sir. Okay, who's the teacher? Uh, okay, I think not. I think last month, right? You have learned about this. That's gonna be good. We have this our exams about this. Oh, good. That's gonna be good, guys. I can ask you. It means that you can share anything about uh, the version in Bahasa Indonesia, and we can take a look about an English version. Okay, next. Let's take a look about the structure. Yeah, when we talk about the application letter, you will know how to write about the heading. Heading include like the sender, address, the date, yeah, inside address, salutation, and after signature. Yeah, there are uh, the structures. I don't know, by the way, I don't like this mask. When I talk, oh, okay, finally, let me open it. Oh, I can read. Okay. Ah, okay then. Okay, so we will discuss about this one one by one. Finally, I can break. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be the form. Yeah, this is gonna be the form about how you can write about your application letter. Okay, start from heading until signature. Okay, let's take a look about this one heading. Uh, I remember that last year you have learned about letterhead, didn't you guys? Yes, right? Yes, I think that you have learned about it. Please somebody tell me what's the difference between heading and letterhead? Anyone volunteer? What's the difference between letterhead and heading? Anyone guys? Letterhead is like the name of the company. Mm -hmm. What else? And the email address, logo. Mm -hmm. But yes. heading? Heading. It's on the PPT, sir. <laughs> okay, you got it. Okay. So in the letterhead, yeah, you put your logo. So maybe that you want to make MOU. Still remember what is MOU, you guys? 
Okay, MOU stands for Memorandum, Memorandum of Understanding. Understanding. Very good. Like you make like a corporation, right? So, yeah, you make your logo, your company's name, okay, and also about the address over there. Yeah, but in here, just the heading about, uh, you can take a look about the PPT in here. The heading contains the name, address, contact number, uh, and the date, yeah. You can take a look about the example, yeah. This is my name, uh, the, the address, my phone, email, and the date. Next, let's take a look about the inside address. So when we talk about inside address, so it's talking about the receiver, not talking about the sender. So we have learned about the sender, about sender in the heading. But now we learn about inside address means talking about receiver. Yeah, Jadi, in here we can take a look that there is a name, the name of the uh, receiver, the company, the address, maybe you can put the, the phone, telephone number, uh, maybe email, yeah. But better, yeah. not too long, just the yeah. name. Uh, yeah. The name must be followed by the title, yeah. Uh, and also about the address, the company. Okay, next, salutation. Okay, according to this one, salutation is like the greeting, yeah. Before you write about the body, yeah, you need to greet first, like, followed by dear, after that, the title, and the name. Yeah, for example, dear Professor Esther, or dear uh, Dr. Perry, dear um, Miss uh, Bella, or dear Miss Vivian, yeah. Jadi, you need to uh, put dear, uh, and then title, and then name. Don't forget to put colon. Colon, don't put semicolon, yeah, colon. After you write about salutation, okay, let's take a look about the body of the letter. So you know that the body of the letter in here, guys, is the main content. Main in here, so all of the content that you need to write in this body. Yeah, maybe you can write it in the three paragraph or five paragraph. You don't need like to write until 10 paragraphs. That's not letter, that's a story. <laughs> Be careful, guys. And you need to know if you want to write it down, you need to write in formal way. Do not write in informal because this is formal. You want to send it to the company. Yeah. And also, please avoid to use flowery language. Flowery language, it means that you use exaggeration lecture. It's like you want to write it, uh, say something about yourself in exaggeration ya yeah. berlebih-lebihan seperti itu kamu kayak pakai bahasa yang ya membuat diri kamu membanggakan lah gitu tapi itu bisa jatuh menjatuhkan diri kamu ya yeah. so that's why you need to be respectful ya yeah. respectful to write it so according to this we're going to follow about how to make or to write your body of letter based on Barrett Zeros is it Barrett Zeros 2013 so, after you write about salutation, let's take a look first paragraph. In the first paragraph, what you have to write? Okay, in the first paragraph, you need to write about the information of the job. Where did you get the information? Did you get from a uh, website? Did you get from social media? Or even you can uh, maybe get the information from your teacher. Why? This is very important so that they will know about, okay, this guy got job information from the teacher. So it means that the teacher really knows about this company. So this, that's going to be like the consideration. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe our, uh, we have like a cooperation with each other with other company, with your school. Yeah. So that they can also like call your teacher to uh yeah i can say like to make the to ask something like as a, as a consideration for them okay that's gonna be in the first paragraph this is gonna be the example you can take a look guys yeah where did they uh with uh yeah the job permission and after that after you write about uh 
job information, the source of the job information. It is followed by the exact purpose. After you write about where did you get the in job information, you need to explain the purpose why you have to apply the job. Yeah, why? Okay, next. In the second paragraph, in the second paragraph, you create employers' interest uh, based on your education, uh, educational uh, background. Yeah, what you have already achieved or what you have le already learned in the senior high, probably. Yeah, maybe uh, because you are science, you want to apply for uh, probably a researcher. Yeah, a researcher, young researcher, probably. You can uh, you can tell about. Uh, your experience uh, in your education background, like what you have already learned in the senior high about science or anything, yeah. Uh, but you need to know about what position that you have already applied. Don't you make, uh, for example, you want to apply uh, a banker, yeah, but a banker, but you don't have any education background about economy yeah it's totally not good guys okay okay you can take a look about this example remember if you write about the body it must be clear and to the point do not be boastful okay boastful in here means like you are really arrogant yeah sombong gitu ya kayak yeah you know everything about uh, oh, yeah, you just like sombong lah gitu ya. Ego, yeah. Next, in the third paragraph, you need to write about your experience and training. That's why, guys, I have already uh, taught you if you have like competition or anything or like training, seminar, workshop, that's very important. Why? You can write it down in your application letter because they will know that okay this this man they, uh, he has a lot of experience about uh, for example English competition yeah uh, how like uh, okay like prepare anything in the speech debate or something else or even maybe if you want to have another experience yeah you can put in this letter yeah or even if you have like training, like maybe like experience in the organizations, this must be good. Next, in the fourth paragraph, it's talking about your personal attitudes, interests, qualities, and activities towards the job. Okay, in here, if you have any experience about the job, uh, why you you really interest about the job? Yeah, you can explain in the fourth paragraph. Okay. Uh, you can explain what you have already done to achieve that position uh, based on your background, yeah, your experience. Okay, in the fifth paragraph, it's talking about why you, uh, how you can like uh, make sure them that you are the right person for that position, yeah. You can like uh, attack your uh and resume your cv yeah so that they can know uh, okay i think this is the right person i think uh, something like that okay you can take a look about the example this one at okay, the last in the body yeah you can write about uh the arch employer to act on your application letter by requesting for an interview. Yeah, after you explain about your experience, yeah, this is very important so that you can uh, tell them yeah, if there are any like further information or confirmation, yeah, they can uh, call you by phone, email, or even like send your, uh, send the form, yeah, to your address. Yeah, maybe you can take a look at the example like this. Thank you very much for your attention, blah, 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 blah. Okay, <clears throat> so after you write it down about the body, yeah, it's time you to write about complementary clause. Yeah, we can say that in complementary clause in here, it's about like saying goodbye, yeah. Uh, you need to write about like 
yours faithfully, yours sincerely. I think that you have learned about this one last year. Okay, if you write about faithfully, you have known about that man or not, the boss or not, right? Yeah, you need to be careful about that. And after you write about your complimentary clothes, you need to write, uh, not to write, to sign. Yeah, you need to sign. Yeah, exactly below on your uh, complimentary clause. Yeah, after your signature, don't forget to write your name. Yeah, if you have the title, you can write it down the title. All right. Okay, this is gonna be the example. We will take a look later on. Okay, that's all for today. So now I'm gonna show you about the example and ask you some questions actually. Okay, let me stop the recording. <clears throat> stop recording.